Welcome to my poster on the improvement in laser circular polarization for optical pumping. Over here I have the motivation for laser circular polarization. I was working with a group called Trinat and the goal was to measure the angular asymmetry of beta particles with respect to nuclear spin and the beta decay of spin polarized nuclei. In this picture I have a drawing of the experiment. The red optical pumping light is the light that I was working on circularly polarizing. It shines onto the atoms in the center of the trap and these are then polarized into two possible states, either up or down, depending on the orientation of the circularly polarized light. Over here I talk about twisted pneumatic liquid crystals. The main point in my project was replacing previously used liquid crystal variable retarders with new twisted pneumatic liquid crystals. Um, the drawing of how these work over here, they flip linearly polarized light between two possible states, either a zero degree rotation or a 90 degree rotation, depending on whether or not there is a voltage applied to the crystal. These are then put through a quarter wave plate, which circularly polarize the light in either left-handed or right-handed circular polarization. Over here, I have plots that show the characterization of the liquid crystal, it turns out that going from 0 volts to 10 volts doesn't perfectly flip the liquid crystal by 90 degrees, but by modifying the lower voltage setting to about 1.27 volts, we're able to get a perfect 90 degree rotation. Then down here I show the resulting circular polarization and this was an improvement of about two orders of magnitude from the what was previously achieved with the liquid crystal variable retarders. Now over here I have a prediction for how that will affect the optical pumping. I wasn't able to measure the optical pumping in the lab so I used a simulation provided by one of my previous collaborators. Um, the improvement in circular polarization led to a predicted increase in nuclear spin polarization from 0 0.9958 to 0 0.9970. That's the difference um, shown by this orange arrow. And then a separate unrelated increase in power, which was as a result of replacing the laser diode and improving the optical fiber coupling, uh, resulted in a three times power increase, which greatly reduced the time taken to reach an equilibrium state with the nuclear spin polarization. Thank you so much for coming to my poster. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask.